Well, this was a very ugly divorce. The guy that had been the puppeteer for uh, Kermit for years. I mean, yeah, forever. And and the breakup is awful. I mean, the Sesame Street company are like throwing all kinds of stuff at, yeah, at this guy. Yeah, they basically told him, pull your hand out of there and, and get, get out. out. Yeah. Come in, Mr. Whitmire. Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here. Okay, you seem to be suffering from personality identity detachment. If you could just talk as Mr. Whitmire and not Kermit the Frog, that would be a huge help. Hi, ho. We'll address that later. Hi, ho. The Henson family says you were fired from Sesame Street because you had fits of rage. Well, Doctor, I get mad when people do things that I don't like. My kids watch Sesame Street, and you haven't been quite the same. I think I'm going to have to talk about being mad again. Look, I'm meeting with you because I care about you. Well, I care too! You big A puppet shouldn't be teaching kids that word on television. You or Or that one. So what are you going to do now? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire you. You are fired. Okay. You are fired. You are fired. All right. Fired. I am not kidding. I think we're done here. Paul and our mornings on 94 HJY. Well, uh, I guess I was shocked to find out that Scaramucci is no longer going to be... It's like, what the... Hey, just like that, one of my buddies who loses his job. Ten days, that's it? That's all you got for Scaramucci? Eleven, he actually got eleven. Oh, did he? Okay. So he qualifies for the pension. (laughs) It was a very dramatic announcement. It was almost uh, in in a musical fashion at the White House. I see a little silhouette to open the Scaramucci, Scaramucci, you are such a douchebag. Well, it goes for many of them in the White House. Yeah. had a week and a half to whip that together. <laughs> <laughs> and interestingly enough, a very special sponsor on the Paul and Al show this morning. The White House job fair is coming. The United States is looking for talented, hardworking Americans who can relocate to Washington, D.C. and help run the country. With an unusually high turnover in key positions, there's a chance that more jobs will be opening soon. Like Director of Communication, Attorney General, National Security Advisor, Chief of Staff, Deputy Chief of Staff, FBI Director, and more. If you think you can do a better job than the idiots in Washington, why not become one of those idiots? Apply today. No experience necessary. Loyalty encouraged. Russian is a second language is a plus. The White House job fair. Warning, no job is guaranteed. Paul and Al. I'm very proud of my Mornings on 94 HJY. There are some pretty unhealthy items at chain restaurants uh, around the globe, including this year's top unhealthy items, IHOP's cheeseburger omelet, coming in at 1,990 calories. (laughs) Buffalo Wild Wings cheese curd bacon burger, which sounds disgusting with fries, at 1,950 calories, because nothing sounds delicious like cheese curd curd and cheese, cheese curds are delicious but you ever uh, have poutine yeah well but still, yeah but we could use curd, another thing curdled yeah. yeah and cheesecake no, factory's curd. pasta napolitana at 2310 wow. calories i will say though that the the servings there are so big there's yeah. no way anybody's eating like one of those at a time have you seen americans lately <laughs> have, you, have you had the triple double over at uh, Honeydew? No. <laughs> the Isaiah Thomas sandwich? Yeah, 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 right, sure. So it's like a Big Mac kind of thing. It's got three le- layers of French toast. Yeah. Uh, and in between two of them, you Is get... egg and cheese? You get sausage, egg, and cheese. Mm-hmm. And in between the other two, you get bacon, bacon egg, egg, and, and cheese. cheese. Yeah. So what's your food review oh, on that, huh? You, it, it's, you feel like you got a bowling ball in your hand. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you what. You are done for the day. You got breakfast and lunch right there. <laughs> What's so wrong with that? Yeah, and it's, uh, I would say, probably an 80% survival rate, you know? <laughs> Two out of ten chance you don't make it. If Jim Shore says you're done for the day, you are done for the day. <laughs> oh, it is brutal. Good, though. But delicious. <laughs> recommend uh, washing that down with an iced mocha madness. No, no, no. That's where you get the Diet Coke. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Gave up Diet Coke. Too too unhealthy. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Paul and Al. Mornings on 94. HJY. Hey, thanks. Monday morning and all week long at 835, we're going to start giving away more tickets to WWE SmackDown. It's coming to the Dunkin' Donuts Center on August 15th, so it's just about a week and a half away. Your chance to win Monday morning on the Paul and Al Show at 94HJY. It's your home of Rock and Roll 94HJY. We did stump the DJ yesterday and... 
had a very fine session, so here are your highlights. Wheels starts us off. Says, I'm getting a tattoo in Braille on my penis that just says, read it again. <laughs> I'm extremely happy to announce that I've just been hired at the White House as director of a... Never mind, I got fired. Okay. <laughs> Giuseppe writes, uh, young girl says, Daddy, why is my sister named Paris? Father says, so we can remember where she was conceived. Mm. Daughter says, thank you, Daddy. He says, you're welcome, Allie. Yeah. <laughs> child asks his father, uh, Dad, how were people born? So the father says, well, Adam and Eve made babies, and then their babies became adults and made babies, and so on. So then the kid goes to his mother and asks the same question, and she says, well, we were monkeys, and then we evolved to become what we're like now. So the kid runs back to the father and says, you lied to me! And the father says, no, she was talking about her side of the family. Oh. <laughs> and then from our buddy Wheels, you know, it gets a bit embarrassing when my dog sniffs the crotch of visitors. They give me some funny looks because he's a chihuahua and I have to lift him up. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good. What's you your joke? What? Why do old geeky men wear black socks and sandals? Black socks and sandals. Hmm. Why? I don't know. I'm asking you. Yeah, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> a blonde, a brunette, and a, a redhead escape prison, and the cops right on their tail. So they come up to a farm and they run into the barn. The only thing that they see is three burlap sacks. So they hurry up and jump in there, and uh, the cops walk into the barn. They go up to the redhead sack and kick it. And she says meow. So the cops go over to the brunette sack and kick it, and she says rough, rough. So the cop finally gets to the third one, the blonde, and kicks potatoes. it. Potatoes. Potatoes, <laughs> yeah. H.J.Y. Hey, I was driving on the highway earlier, and I saw this girl texting and driving. Pissed me off so much, I opened my window with my beer at her. <laughs> time to announce the winner of Sump the DJ. Not only are the three of us in agreement, but I actually called Nairobi, and they agreed too. Uh oh <laughs> Comes from Wheels. He writes, I pay extra for a mattress that claimed to have no memory of anything I did on it. Cold and Al. Mornings on 94. HJY. Well, interesting things. Uh, tweeted overnight the former Mexican president, Vincente Box. Here's, he's uh, constantly putting new videos out against Trump. It's, it's pretty funny. He, he tweeted this, hey, Trump, I'm watching this really bad reality TV show with low ratings called Survivor White House. I can't change the channel. Uh, 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 and, uh, and then there's also a post of uh, Republicans kind of plotting to put Pence in. By oh, yeah. midterm elections. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, the big news is that uh, after, what, 10 or 11 days? 10 and a half, I believe. Yeah. 10 and a half days. And could, <laughs> he took a vacation day, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and can, can you uh, imagine somebody who's a better brown noser really just not getting that reciprocal love, right? No. Nope. I think there's been, at times, a disconnect between the way we see the president and how much we love the president. You're fired. The people I grew up with, they so identify with the president and they love him. You're fired. I love the president and I'm very, very loyal to the president. You're fired. I don't think I'd be standing here if I didn't have a good relationship with the president. You're fired. <laughs> Paul and Al, mornings on 94 HJY. This According to a new survey, 96% of people wash their hands after they go number two. 50. How many? Wait, 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 wait. Ninety-six percent. Okay, that's good. 96%. Not everyone washes their hand after pulling. Only four percent. Four percent is like it's like unemployment if it's at four percent. Well, four percent. Four percent. The, the, the survey is plus or minus four percent okay. anyway. Oh my god! All right, fifty-six percent wash their hands after sex. Uh, only 25% percent wash. remember that far back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they had invented water. Me neither. <laughs> but only 25% wash their hands after they reach into their pants to scratch. <laughs> I guess it depends. Are you over underwear or under the underwear? Because right. if it's oh, you over, go you might you be able to under. give like yeah. a grace period. <laughs> Get rid of the experience. <laughs> they wash your hands within five hours. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want to get rid of the essence. <laughs> Paul and Al, mornings on 94. HJY. HJY. So, Jen, do you, do you think that Trivago guy is sexy or annoying? 
Oh boy, uh, you know? yeah, he's he's straddling annoying. Yeah, for me. yeah, they've they've got a new one now. They've got a, a gal who's like really hot. She's young. She's British. Of you course. know what I mean? Right. So and is she straddling? That's uh, what we women get. We get an old graying man, yeah. uh-huh. and the men get a young, yeah. vibrant female. Well, yeah. you don't need either of them. Here it is: top five signs you're staying at a bad hotel. Okay. Uh, number five, the cleaning crew hasn't vacuumed up the chalk outline left by the previous <laughs> guest. Yeah, that's an issue. Uh, number four, the presidential suite is a room with two Russian hookers uh, into water sports. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. At number three, you're not sure if that's chocolate on your pillow. Oh, no. No. <laughs> At number two, there's a peephole in every door and a glory hole right below it. <laughs> <laughs> but the top sign you're staying at a bad hotel, well, when you ask the valet to grab your bag, he instinctively cups your scrotum. <laughs> are we sure these are all bad hotels? Bad, my friend, is service. <laughs> hotel Trivago. <laughs> Paul and Al. Most folks just don't seem to have a taste for testicles no more. On 94. H-J-Y. Hey, thanks for listening to the best of Paul and Al here at 94HAY. It's brought to you by our friends at Dunkin' Donuts. Monday morning and all week long at 835, we're going to start giving away more tickets to WWE SmackDown. It's coming to the Dunkin' Donuts Center on August 15th, so it's just about a week and a half away. Your chance to win Monday morning on the Paul and Al Show at 94HAY. <laughs> A man and two women were having a threesome on an apartment balcony in yep, Germany baby. last week. One of the women fell off because of a bad position choice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she broke her legs. And when the other woman ran Ooh. down to help her, she slipped and broke bones in her arm and neck. Ooh. Wow, she slipped on some kind of slippery <laughs> fluid. Mm, I wonder what that was. Uh, something with medium viscosity. <laughs> Actually, we do have audio from the event itself. And Ooh, that hurt. She was cushioned by some goosh. I don't know what goosh is, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. That's her neighbor, Mr. Goosh. Paul and Al. We thought this would be fun. Instead, it's a nightmare. On 94 HJY.